In this lecture snippet, I want to go through the basic use and operation of hex edit, which is one of our tools we have to work with for viewing the hexadecimal information of a file or a partition. It is not installed by default on Ubuntu, so I'll need to install it by running sudo apt-get install hex edit. And I'll go ahead and hit enter and begin the installation process. Now once it's installed, I want to pull up the man page and view some of the information on the man page. What I've done over on the right hand side in this text file is I've actually pulled out some of the basic operations of hex edit so that you can view and see how to do this. But it is all listed in this man page. So let me go ahead and go to the man page now that it is installed. Man hex edit. And I'll go ahead and hit enter. And you can see some of the information. If I run an option with the command, I will usually run the dash s option which will allow me to view the file or the information that I actually am viewing a sector at a time. And actually it only shows me a half of a sector. It shows me 256 bytes rather than the full 512 bytes of a sector. But the dash S option sometimes is a good option to use while running the command. I'm going to scroll down and I can see here are some of my basic navigation which I've pulled out some of the things over here for you. And you can see there's other things like saving and exiting and now you, you can use either some of the F keys or you can use control plus something. And so I've pulled those out there as, as well that I typically use. And you can see there's quite a few different options. And now I'm going to go ahead and press the Q key to quit out of that. And I'm going to go ahead and actually run hex edit so you can see how it actually looks. And then I'm going to go ahead and actually view in this flash drive image that I have copied here. So I want to go ahead and navigate over to the desktop and then I'm going to do flash drive.img and I'll hit enter. And it's actually going to show me all the hexadecimal information or values that are written to the hard drive. And I can see that it is a FAT16 drive and you can pull that information out of the partition information here. And so if I scroll down I can see there's a lot of different things. This is actually how it's written on the hard drive itself. And what I can also do is I can search. Now I'm currently, you can see my blinking cursor, I'm currently in the hexadecimal area. If I press the tab key, it'll allow me to go over to the ASCII text area. And it's important to know which area you are in because when you're doing searching, you're going to have to look to see what area you're in because that's what you're going to be searching for. For instance, if I wanted to search for something in ASCII text, I can use the forward slash or control S. And I'm going to go ahead and press forward slash right now. And you can see that since I was in the ASCII area, I can actually search for an ASCII string, like JPEG. And I'll go ahead and hit enter. And it's going to go through and actually look for anywhere on my file or image or partition where JPG shows up. And you can see right here, JPG. And if I keep searching forward, uh, basically if I press the forward slash again, I can keep searching to look to see where JPG ends up appearing again on my hard drive. And I can actually keep doing that by pressing the forward slash and enter. And I can keep working my way through a partition or a file looking for that string itself. And I can of course change the string value as, as well. But if I hit tab and I'm over in the hexadecimal area and I hit forward slash, you'll see that it's actually going to search based off of a hex string rather than the actually ASCII string. So it's a little bit different. So you need to know which area you are in and you can, I'm going to go ahead and hit enter to close out of that. You can toggle back and forth between those two areas with the tab key. You can also make changes to it. So I'm going to actually do the less than symbol and it will take me all the way back to the beginning of my file and I can actually make changes. Let's just say that I wanted to change some of the stuff that we have here. I'm going to tab over and I can actually start typing in text. I am typing text and I can actually overwrite the data that's in there and basically what ends up happening, you'll see the hexadecimal value changes as well. I can then decide to either save it with control W save and exit with control X or I can just exit without any of these changes happening. Now I can also use the backspace key so you can see the backspace key and if I if I hit backspace you'll notice that it actually undoes the text changing that I was typing in. And so I can use backspace to undo some of that information that I've done. So those are some of the basic options or basic operations of using hex edit. I'm going to do a control C to quit out of this and I also want to show you this can be used to open up a full partition or a full hard drive. And I actually have a hard drive. If I do the sudo fdisk-l, I can see I want to actually pull in this partition right there, sdb1. And so if I go ahead, I'm going to just type in clear. If I run sudo hex edit, and it has to be sudo because I'm dealing with a device and I need to have those privileges, sudo hex edit, 
and I'm going to do this time dash S to show you by sector forward slash DEV forward slash SDB1 and I go ahead and hit enter you'll notice that it actually pulls in this whole partition and you can see it's an NTFS partition and it's showing me 256 bytes at a time and I can go ahead and do page down and it will actually take me, you can still see I'm in sector 0, but it takes me to the other half. And if I keep doing page down, you'll see that it tells me what sector I'm currently in. And I have to do it twice for every sector because it shows me a half of a sector at a time. So using the dash S option shows you sector at a time. The whole file is still there to work with, though I can still search for things. So if I tab over here to the ASCII area and I hit the forward slash, I can search for a string like JPG and it will run through my entire partition looking for that JPG and there it is I found a JP and then the next sector will have the G so this is can still be used to still search the entire partition but it only shows me and formats it for me a half of a sector at a time so this is the basic use and operation of hex edit one of the hex editors we have to work with in Ubuntu